in the fuck are you guys doing today? So, uh, today this video is about we are fixing a bobcat broom attachment. Okay, uh, this is for the neighbors next door. Um, I fixed a couple of these before. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys along and show you how I kind of fix these. It's the best way that I can do it with the tools and the technology that I got. Really what I need is a lathe, but we make do with what we got around here. So uh, what this is, is, okay, you can see that it's got a bolt hole here, and then it has a keyway. Okay, and what this is, is this attaches to uh, the Bobcat broom, okay, and then this is uh, a chain fucking thigamajewer, okay, and what it has is, is it has this keyway in there, okay. Now, um, also this bearing has to go on there first, and then this goes over top of it, and this holds this holds the chain and then the hydraulic pump from the chain turns this. Now what has happened and what really happens is, is this keyway starts working on this material and it gets loose. Okay, so what I do is I weld up these keyways, I rotate this 180 degrees and then I machine a new keyway in there and we're going to have to do some other machining. Um, to make this surface flat because it's concaved and then we have to flatten this surface out um, Basically just so when they bolt the washer up there, we can have a nice tight fit But you know it, the secret is 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 that you know this thing is on the shaft and then he just re-welds this on there um, It's the best way that we came out to fix them uh, because this shaft is very expensive and it's this happens a lot so we've been trying to figure it out uh, this is the best solution that I can come up with so I thought I'd bring you guys along with uh, fixing this this is gonna be a long video just to let you know there's a lot of work in this uh, we have to fucking chuck this up in the mill after we get it down and we have to do some sanding to get this bear or this surface and this surface to fit because it's all fucking chowdered to fuck. But anyway, uh, we'll get uh, on to welding this first. I don't know if this, like I said, I don't know if this is the right way to do this, but this is how uh, I've been doing it here, and uh, we're gonna see how this works. If not, we're gonna have to switch. The machine around and uh, do whatever but let's see what happens here now I'm just trying to fill these holes in here Just what I thought. Okay, so as you can see, we got that build up pretty good. Let me fix this spot back here. Okay, now what we're going to have to do is uh, get a pair of pliers because they just hit. All right, there's a couple marks where he cut it. I'm just going to fill these in.
Okay. So now what we do is Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, what I did is I just, uh, ooh shit, focus. What I did is I just cut a groove in there so I know where to uh, sand down to. And you can see, unenhance here. Oh, unenhance. Okay, you can see what I did is I welded all that up in there. And then what we have to do is sand this down. If we had a lathe, we'd come in here and just, you know, lathe it out, but we ain't got one. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make that work. Okay, so what I got is this bolt that I cut down, just what I thought. She fucking, just what I thought. Got a little weld in the in the bolt. That's in the bolt hole. Kind of figured that was going to happen. So so what we'll do is just re-tap that there. It's really fucking hot. Woo! Thing is screaming. All right. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to double nut that little bit. And then what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna chuck it up in the mill, okay? And I'm gonna come in here with a sanding pad and I'm gonna sand all this down using the mill so I don't take too much. I just kinda smooth it off and then we'll check from time to time that uh, this goes in. So let me get started sanding on it. I'm not gonna show you guys all that. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna kinda, you know, give you a brief overview. If you understand what we got to do, we got to smooth this out, okay? But it's better to smooth it out when it's turning, I found. Just my opinion. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, guys, uh, I'm starting to work on it here, but I got it smoothed out so it's not so bad. Now what we're going to do is just start sanding this down a little bit. I'll show you how I do this. Not saying it's the right way. It's the only way I got to know how to do it right now. I feel like we got that sanded down pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is kind of surface condition it. Alrighty, we're gonna take some grit sandpaper here. 240, 
and we're just going to kind of smooth this out a little bit. This will get all the high spots. We'll smooth it out a little bit. Okay. Oh, I did a pretty good job. Dry that some more. All right, now what we want to see Slides over there real nice and neat. All right, now let's see if this. So hold on here, let me let me blow some of this shit out of the way. We got grinding done. fits down on there real good. This bearing fits down on there real good. See kind of how this goes is like this. And then we'll have a keyway in there. And then uh, you know the bolt will hold that. So we got that done. I feel comfortable where that is. Save that, you never know we might need that again. Alrighty, now that one's kind of fucked up. Let's see what we got here. God damn it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. Let's get you guys up here where you can oop there you guys go alrighty I'm running out of room here YouTube This ain't gotta be, uh, this doesn't have to be, like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect as long as we're fucking close. Uh, that's all that matters. 
Oh, let me get you. Jesus, Lord. Oh, I'm out of room here, YouTube. I don't have any room for anything. Slow this down a little bit. Let's turn this on and see what we got. What we're trying to do is get this somewhat flat. can uh, do that there. Alright. Now we'll see how kind of flat we got her. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for the girls that I go out with. This is not, this is not a crucial measurement here. Alright. What we're going to do is come over till this touches Turn this down. We're going to mill that over. You know, we're just milling this flat. Oh, that's going to fly out of there. We gotta go get something else. Because that was about fucking death. Alright, we'll see if that works better. We'll just take a five thousandths cut this time. We still haven't got all the chowder off. See if this gets it off. Alright, I feel like that's... That's pretty fucking good. We'll come in. Hit that right on the center. Okay, so now that we got semi-flat surfaces, there YouTube. So you can see we flatten that out. All right, we'll I have to deburr that in, but you know, this is flat, so you can weld that back on there. Now what we have to do 
is first of all clean oil fucking whatever is getting fucked up okay so now what we gotta find is basically a quarter inch see what this is We need to find out what this keyway measured. Okay, 314 thousandths. And I got a 291 here. So we'll try this one and then we'll just move it over five. Okay, okay. Let me swing you guys around to this side. Okay, so now what we got to do is we got to find center here. Not, I mean, it's got to be as close as we can get it. Okay, so what we're going to do is come down. All right, then we're going to rotate this in till I feel like it's right about. I feel like right there is about the center. So what I'm going to do is lock the table in. All right. All right. Now what we want to do is I want to come up, I'm going to zero my dial gauge here. I'm going to come up 5 thou and then come in. Alright, let's zero it out here. Come up till we touch. Okay. I'm going to come up five thou. We'll come back just a hair. There we go. I'm doing a lot of this by eye and just because I've kind of done a bunch of these already. All right, now we're going to come up 15. We'll clean that back up later. All right, the 15th Alcott didn't really hurt us. So let's come up. Let's come up 20. There's a 40, we'll see what that does. Oh, well stupid. I forgot something, been a while since I used this mill.
So you just keep going like this till you get it. Uh, just kind of all right I want to run this in 150 we're at 123 right now so I'm gonna go another there's 20 I'm gonna go 25 Okay, now what we got to do is I'm going to zero this out. I want to see how wide this groove is. So our groove is 314. That's absolutely perfect. All right. All right, let's let's pull this out. Okay, you can see fucking our new groove in there, and it it will match up perfectly with that groove okay now I like it to have just a little bit of snugness I think this thing needs a set screw in it my personal opinion uh, you know but he said it doesn't he said basically how this works is is that this pushes on so far and the bolt holds it but I personally think we needed to put a set screw in this, but that's all the how the, all the other ones were. But uh, that is that project fixed. You know, basically, all that holds this on is the fucking keyway. You know, I really like that. But see, see how much gaps in there when you put this bearing on there. But anyway, this one will be fucked up before too long. I'll be fixing this again, I think. But that's that. You can see where we had the old keyway in it. Uh, we welded up that hole. Uh, and uh, that's that. So that's how you fix a Bobcat attachment for a fucking broom with just a mill. You know, use your... You know, use the mill as a lathe, but, you know, whatever. Alrighty there, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the video of uh, me fixing this monstrosity. Like I said, I fixed a couple of them, and they've been using them, and they seem to like it. So they brought more over for me to fix. I don't know. I'm not saying this way is the right way or the wrong way. It's just the way that... Uh, I've been doing it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little something different. Showing you repairs. And uh, showing me using this lump three feet above my ass. 
other than a hat rack, okay? Uh, but uh, like always, check out Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, TikTok, all that horse shit. And uh, like always, thanks for watching, and uh, I gotta fucking go.